What's it like wearing Brisbane Lions colours? How's it feel? Yeah, it's a, a bit different, but uh, something I'm going to get used to. And um, all, all, Actually, all my junior career, I wore blue and white, so um, yeah, it's going to be different, but no, nah, looking forward to it. As much as you can, I know people are all a bit shocked when we heard you wanted to, to leave Geelong. Can you give, give some of the reasons why you wanted to not play for Geelong anymore? Yeah, I was just sort of, um, after my back surgery and sort of, I was just sort of reassessing myself and sort of what direction I wanted to take in my life and um, I wasn't entirely happy with it so I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to um, change what I want to want to want to be as a person and, and that sort of thing. So that's that's all there was really to it. I just wanted to, you know, change the road I was on and um, I've been a Geelong boy all my life. I've grown up there and sometimes in like at the end of the day footy's just a job and it's your life that's important and you know I got the support and and uh you know I was lucky enough to have my family and all that around me and um yeah they they backed me in and um I'll always be thankful for the to the Geelong Football Club for allowing me to say you know what I just want to I just want to do something different and and they've allowed me to do that so there's a couple underlying issues but they're, they're my problem and no one else's so um, yeah. Why did you feel Brisbane provided the things that you needed? Um, well, I sort of, uh, in terms of lifestyle and uh, just being somewhere different um, was it but when I sort of sat down and decided I wanted to have a look at another club sort of went through a few lists and Brisbane's was the one who really uh, stuck out to me I think they got a good um, age bracket of blokes around my age but also underneath uh, my age um, blokes like Louis Taylor and Darcy Gardner so um, I've got to keep in mind that footy you want to enjoy playing your footy and what, what you want to do and so I'm, I'm looking forward to, to helping them younger blokes uh, achieve where, where we want to go. You said, sorry, there were some personal issues there and we completely respect that. Are they things that are, you're on top of that you still need to address that getting out of the long will help? I mean... Yeah, it's just a change of environment. That's that's mainly what it is. And um, yeah, I'm on on top of everything. And um, you know, one of the one of the problems you just got to admit it. And I'm not the only one who goes through it. So um, you know, I'll I'll come out in due time and talk about it because I think I can be a really good role model to the community. But you know, you just I'll deal with that myself and with the family and friends around me. But um, yeah, so it, it's all good. And I'm in a happy place. And um, I'll just keep working to be a, a, a better person and um, becoming a good Brisbane Lions player. You know, it's tough to leave Geelong Footy Club, though. such a well-run club, you've had success, it's been an amazing ride. How hard was it actually to make that decision to, to leave the footy club itself? Yeah, it was uh, very, very hard and I sort of um, bubbled on it by myself for a couple of weeks and it was sort of eating away at me. Um, and But at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's my life and I control my own destiny and um, they were completely understanding of, of where I wanted to head in my life and um, yeah, the, it's hard though because I've got um, really good friends down there, um, I don't think I'll leave with it, uh, any grudges against anyone or, or them against me, like I leave on really good terms with the football club and all the players down there so um, you know, you just gotta, sometimes you just got to do what you think's right and what's in your head and what's in your heart and that's what I'm doing. Have you second guessed yourself at all over the course of the past? couple of weeks as you've gone through this process, have you handed the outs through you? Are you very strong-minded? Nah, I made my decision and after that I, I sort of spoke to the people I need to speak to um, down at the footy club and my friends and, and my family and uh, no, I, was, I was always really comfortable in the decision I made and um, I think the club were aware, aware of it but um, you know, they got to do what they got to do as well. Um, they like try and talk you out of it and that sort of thing but that's it's my decision and they were fully respectful and um, you know as I said before I always thank them so much for what what they've done because you know it would have been hard for them to uh, maybe give up pick 21 because Brisbane was, a, was the place I wanted to be and um, yeah it's I always thank Neil Baum and Stephen Wells, Chris Scott um, and all the boys down there for, for giving me all they've given me over the last five years and um, letting me go to the next part of my life with a with a fresh start. Do you ever consider the Gold Coast? Uh, we had a meeting with them, but I was always pretty firmly fixed on on Brisbane. How long ago did Jackson thinking about when did it first pop into your head that you wanted? Oh, probably about yeah, about oh, 
I couldn't say a month ago. I started probably just reassessing myself and um, about a month ago, and then probably over, only in the last couple of weeks, I decided that a change of footy clubs would and a change of lifestyle and location would be good for me. How long had you approach it in Geelong that you were looking to, to move? Um, I just I had a chat with Neil Balm and my manager and sort of sat down and uh, just discussed it openly and honestly with them. Had a really good um, chat with them and then uh, just talking to Joel Salwood and Chris Scott as well and just telling them where my hat, uh, head is and that was, that's pretty much it. I just, just had to be open and honest with them and where I was at and sort of what direction I wanted to, to head in. So that was pretty much all there was to it. What was your reaction to that? Oh, obviously pretty disappointed but um, at the time, but I think they fully understand what I, what I want to do and um, where I'm heading. So, no, there's no, no grudges or anything like that with, between me or anyone like that. So I'm, I'm really happy and um, I'm looking forward to the next part of my life. How, how is the back though? Obviously, it was a, it's a major thing when you had back surgery. You've had a couple of bouts this year. Yeah. What was the latest surgery about and how's it sort of going now? Yeah, there was just, a, I think there was a little bit of scar tissue in that left from the last surgery. and. Obviously, we try to get back pretty quickly um, to play again this year, so there might have been a, a bit of gunk in there, and, but no, nah, it's going really well. Um, pretty much pain-free and passed the medical uh, the other day, so they were happy with it and happy enough to go along ahead with the deal. So, no, nah, track along really well. I'm four weeks today, and um, yeah, so it's about a 12-week recovery, so I'm only a couple of months from really joining in training. How close were you to re-signing? Probably the discussions would have been happening mid-year. Yeah, I was, uh, yeah, well, actually pretty close. Um, we had a, a nice length deal on the table. Um, so it was this this change up for me was never about money or anything like that. It was, yeah, just a, ch a change for me. And, um, you know, I, you know, I could have easily stayed at Geelong, but this is a decision I made and I'm happy to, to stick by it. And, um, you know, I've copped a bit over the last week, but, you know, they're not... The people who give me stick are the ones who don't care about me. So, um, no, I'm more than happy, more than happy to be up at Brisbane now. You caught up with Coach Justin Lethbridge last week, I think it was. Uh, what stood out the most during your uh, catch-up? Uh, he's just really relaxed and um, understands the environment that AFL players are in, and um, he gave me a really good outlook at, at where they're heading and uh, sort of where he saw me and their plans. So, no, I had a, a really good chat with them, and I was more than happy to to press, on, press forward with what I wanted to do. At least you got one familiar place up there and your old premiership teammate, Trent West. Yeah. You yeah, had a chat with him yet? Yeah, absolutely. He's offered me his house for, uh, to live in his house for a bit, so that was good of Westy and uh, looking, looking forward to hopefully getting with him in the midfield again. And um, Yes, yeah, it's, it's exciting knowing people up there. My little brother was really good mates with uh, Darcy Gardner and Louis Taylor, so um, there's a few familiar uh, faces up there, so no, nah, it's good. Nah, I'm going to tell him to pull his socks down though. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are your plans in terms of how you fit in with the structure of Brisbane? Yeah, um, I obviously want to start trying to push into the midfield. I think I'll get a good three, four months of pre-season in, so I reckon I'll come in good shape. And um, Yeah, that's what I want to do. I've had a bit of final experience and a uh, bit of a cool head because um, they've got a very, very young list. So. Hopefully I can do that and if we can get Dane Beams as well, a bit of his finest experience and harder bodies and uh, it'll be good for, the, good for us. You mentioned before, Alan, in your own time and we'll sit down and, and talk a little bit more about some of the, the things you've been dealing with. Do you think that's important? Because you know it's good in life, there's stories going around and yeah. why you're leaving. Do you think in time that'll be important to clear the air with some things? Oh, not really, but um, you, know, you hear stories about everyone, like it doesn't really bother me. and. When you when you read some of the things, you're just like that's that's it. Like you just blow it off because you know it's not true. And um, I just I'll do my own thing. Like in time, I'll I'll sit down and I'll work out what I want to do. But um, until then, I'm just going to settle in at Brisbane and and yeah, just put my head down and work hard because I'm paid football and they got me up there for a reason. So. In your certain in your mind, are you leaving Geelong for all the Right yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, completely non-football related. Just where I wanna, just where I wanna head in life, and that's it. Like at the end of the day, I'm a person, and 
um, you got to make choices sometimes for what's good for you and I think this will be a really good choice for me going forward and all the boys I've spoken to have been really supportive um, of that decision so yeah at the end of the day I've done it and I'm happy with it. Did you get in touch with some of the senior players at Geelong or was it sort of vice versa they, they got in contact with you? No I've spoken to, spoken to a few of them um, the older boys Andrew Mackey, Matt Stokes and uh, Joel obviously, Tom Lonigan I've had a chat to and you know, they they understand where I'm coming from and uh, they completely understand. So yeah, and I've been really supportive of I've left the footy club that um, still a chance to win a premiership next year and uh, in really good hands. So now I'm happy.